Rhodes University's School of Languages and Literature is set to reopen, but the progress seems to be moving at a snail's pace. The School of Languages and Literature is now moving into an independent space. It has been sharing space with the Department of Statistics and Historical Studies. Conversation around the move involving higher education ministers and former Rhodes University Vice Chancellor Dr. Salim Badat started in 2011. These conversations stress African languages being more of a priority in our current setting. Head of Department Patrice Mwepu talks us through the beginning stages of development. Our management was uh, in contact with our government for a long time ago. The negotiation to have uh, the fund released to build the School of Languages started long ago. The, the Minister since 2011 has been calling for Okosa um, Genzisa, Kwe Luimi Zesintu, Kwe University Zetu. I've sat on technical meetings every two weeks for the last couple of years, basically, whilst this building has been constructed, um, and try to be as hands-on as possible. But, you know, there's always going to be teething problems when you, when you move into a new building. But it would be a nice idea to, to have an opening. <laughs> this small and confined space used to be shared by six language departments. The move into a new building has been a traumatic yet a positive process for some. Lecturers at the department voice how the move affects their teaching routines and their personal experiences about moving into a new office space. It was in fact very difficult. It was very difficult, there were lots of problems, but here we are. I'm very happy and excited because I'll have my own new office and we will also have two seminar rooms. We got bruises and lifted boxes, but I do think that will be worth it in the end. The, the students come from different linguistic backgrounds, so having a school of languages to cater for those students might add um, uh, an aspect of diversity in languages. The School of Languages is now operating and next week students are expected to start attending lectures in the department. The new building will be beneficial for lecturers and students at Rhodes University. The final stages of construction continues, but the official reopening remains a mystery. I am Colette Prince, RUTV, Grahamstown.